Uh, good morning, everybody, and can I welcome uh, members to the 10th meeting of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Agenda item one is a consideration of instruments subject to affirmative procedure. The draft Crown Estate Scotland Interim Management Order 2017. Our legal advisers sought clarification from the Scottish Government of the policy intention as to the minimum number of members of Crown Estate Scotland Interim Management the minimum number of members of Crown Estate Scotland Interim Management in relation to the drafting of Article 5.1. Scottish Government has clarified that the intention is the body should be capable of having a minimum of two members, i.e. the chair plus one other member rather than one. There is a doubt as to whether Article 5.1 is sufficiently clear in that respect. Provision states that 1. The Crown Estate Interim Management is to consist of a. A member appointed by the Scottish Ministers to chair it and b. Up to eight other members appointed by the Scottish Ministers. The Scottish Government contends that the division into subparagraphs a and b means that the provision cannot be read as meaning that the Scottish Ministers are capable of determining that no other members are appointed apart from the Chair. However, Article 5.1 could simply have expressed that the Ministers must appoint a minimum of, or at least, two members to the body, including the Chair. So, does the Committee therefore agree to draw the order to the attention of Parliament on the reporting ground H as the meaning of the Article 5.1 could be clearer. Agreed. Thank you. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the following instrument. The draft Aberdeen Harbour Revision Order 2016. So is the committee content with this instrument? Content. Thank you very much. Which takes us to Agenda Item 2. And agenda Item 2 is the consideration of instruments subject to negative procedure. Again, no points have been raised by our legal advisers on the following instruments. The Justices of the Peace, Training and Appraisal, Scotland Order 2016, SSI 2016-329, or the Upper Tribunals for Scotland, Rules of Procedure, Amendment Regulations, 2016, SSI 2016, 333, or the Tenant Information Packs, Assured Tenancies, Scotland, Amendment Order, 2016, SSI 2016, 334. Is the committee content with these instruments? Content. Yes. Good, thank you. Agenda item three is a consideration of instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the following instruments. Or the following instrument. The Water Resources Scotland Act 2013, commencement number four order, 2016, SSI 2016, 327. Is the committee content with this instrument? Content. Thank you. And you'll be pleased to know that, that concludes the committee's business for today.